define the general solution of the given system. So here is the given system of the XDT, the YDT, and the ZTT. First, you need to rewrite this in form of a vector x prime. So basically, you just take the leading coefficient of x, y, z and put it down into a matrix, then multiply it with vector x. Then find a minus lambda i. What is a? A is, let's call this matrix is matrix A. Then minus that with lambda i, that gives you this matrix. Then you find the determinant of it. That gives you 2 minus lambda. I'm going to go across the row. 2 minus lambda times 10 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda minus 4 times 5, which is negative 20, minus negative 7 times call this column and this row. 5 times 2 minus lambda minus 4 times 0 which is 0 and then plus 0 okay simplify this so you will get this and then simplify it all the way down here you will get this set it equal to 0 and then solve for lambda you will get lambda equals 275 so here are here is all the eigenvalue for 3 by 3 matrix so if you notice you have 3 by 3 matrix so you will have 3 values for lambda three values for lambda right so for each eigenvalue you will get an eigenvector okay let's find out what those are for lambda equal to plug it into here that gives you this matrix augmented with zero okay normally you would reduce this down to a base matrix but because I know that I will get infinite solutions so instead of going over all of those matrices I'm gonna and go back to solving a system of linear equation using variables so look over the matrices I see that you can this matrix and this matrix equals zero and you have only one variable which is k2 so let let me see the, let me use the first equation so I have negative 7 k2 equals zero then very quickly I found out that k2 equals zero now let's use the second equation 5k1 plus 8k2 plus 4k3 equals 0 so you know k2 equals 0 just ignore it now solve for k1 you got negative 4 over 5k3 so if I choose k3 equals 5 then k1 equals negative 4 you can choose whatever value for k3 as long as not 0 the reason I chose 5 is because I don't want to work with fractions so okay then my vector k is negative 4 0 5 right now you are going to repeat this for lambda equals 7 plug it into here you will, get, you will get a new matrix which is this one okay augmented with 0 again uh, I don't want to reduce this down to a matrix to a base matrix because I know that it will give me infinite solution so at this point I'm going to use the first equation so I have negative 5 C negative 5 k1 minus 7 k2 equals 0 so for k1 I got negative 7 over 5 k2 okay now use the last equation negative 2 k2 minus 5 k3 equals 0 so for k2 I got negative 5 over 2 k3 right now let's do a random value for it one of those cases. So if I choose k3 equal 2, that gives me k2 equals negative 5, k1 equals 7. You can choose whatever value for k3. The reason I chose 2 because I want to get rid of the fraction here. So if I chose 2, I got k2 equals negative 5, k2 equals negative 5, that gives me k1 equal positive 7. Then my vector k2 is 7, negative 5, 2, right? Now you're going to repeat this process one more time for lambda equals 5 plug it into this matrix that gives you a new matrix which is this augmented with zero all right now look for the matrices you're going to use uh, look for the equation you, you are going to use so it's kind of similar to this one right first use the first equation negative 3k1 minus 7k2 equals zero solve for k1 I got negative 7 over 3k2 use the last equation 5k2 minus 3k3 equals 0 so for k3 I got 5 over 3k2 right now choose k2 equals 3 that gives me k1 equals negative 7 k1 equals negative 7 k3 equals 5 
okay because i chose k2 equals 3 then my k vector k3 is negative 7 3 5 all right then my final solution will be displaced in this form okay so why because you have a distinct real eigenvalues so you have three distinct eigenvalues and your final solution will be written in this form vector x equals c1 k1 is this times e to the lambda 1 t lambda lambda 1 is 2 so you have e to the 2 t plus c2 k2 is this and that's lambda is 7 so you have e to the 7 lambda 7 t plus c3 k3 k3 is this so lambda 3 is 5 so you have e to the 5 t all right so that's your final answer that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time